The Office of Naval Research is very well known in the United States. It was uh, back in 1945, just after World War II. Uh, the Office of Naval Research funded about 40% of all basic research in the United States. So ONRs had a very important role in the scientific enterprise in the United States. Uh, that's changed a little bit, but mostly for budgetary reasons. Um, ONR, I should back up for a second, has funded 60 Nobel Prize winners. So ONR, yes, ONR has had a long history of funding basic research for a very long period of time. Eventually, the National Science Foundation, which I'm sure you've heard of, uh, came into existence some years after the founding of the Office of Naval Research. And their budget has gotten very large. I believe in terms of constant dollars, their budget is probably over 10 times larger than ONR's. So we have a smaller piece of the basic research pie, so to speak. But we've been very proud of a very selective and a very supportive role in American basic research enterprises. 60 Nobel Prize winners is a, is, is a good record. In fact, uh, uh, when I read uh, some information about uh, your agency, that you were at the beginning of, G of GPS. And, and That's true. That's a good example. For example, several Nobel Prizes came out of the GPS work. The uh, ONR has, um, has long, of that budget, I would say, in the basic research budget, which is about, I would say, close to $600 million a year. Uh, about uh, 250, nearly half of it goes to the universities in the United States.